Yes, yeah. Okay. See you, no, no. We got ease up in the studio right now. Make it wave in the first time that I saw this brother here. This is quite a music of Namibia. African reggae. Okay. The people are feeling it. It's something that every person, no matter what age, should have. Music for me is helpful. Keep on rocking and promoting them. It crosses all cultures. From Namibia to South Africa. So my name, my real name is Eric Zell. Like in selling, but it's actually it's a German, so it's, we we say Zell. So but my real name is Eric Zell. Do you spell it with a Z? No, with a S. With a S. Yeah. But German, you just say Z Zell. In in life in general, ne? so you can plan all you want, but life has your has its own plans for you anyway. Ne? So yeah, I don't like to. In my head, I'm still I'm still a youngster. You know, so I have been in the industry for quite some time and I know a lot of tricks, I know a lot of things, I have so much experience, but um, in my head, when I compare it to many other of my friends, LSL, you know, they are house, kids, car, they are sorted. But I'm just like, hmm, Music. next album, music video, shandy, so shandy, easy, shandy, yeah. shandy, you know, so okay. that's the difference. Okay. Yeah. So when you look at my Facebook page, okay, and you look at my social media, my Instagram, and you look at my Alice music videos, Alice, whatever is public, I never involve my lady. Nothing. She's, she's, that's, I don't put her in my stuff. So even you trying to ask now questions about my lady, you will not get a lot, bruh. You won't get a lot. Because the thing is, that's, that's like my personal life. So. There's two types of artists, the one who give everything, alles, they give everything, that this is me. Né? And then there's the other one who try to protect themselves a little bit, you know. Well, you also get those artists that, that completely fake everything. They fake their whole image, they fake the way they talk, fake they, it, they fake alles. Okay, I'm not that one that fakes. I like to keep it real, but there's some things which I, uh, is between me and my lady or where I like to keep her and most of my family out of my public stuff because um, I've had not so cool experiences where you know other ladies also now get mad or get weird or stalk and stalk who's hit uh, to all artists that that are in public figures or in general public figures don't just give everything I mean giving everything works very well and that's what like Back in the days, you had Kim Kardashian and they they hoi, well, they hoi, hoi as much personal stuff so people think they know you. But if you think back to all of these people who gave so much of their personal life, you will also see that uh, they they get hurt very bad because public know everything about you and then they look on you. God. Yeah. Okay, so um, music wise, my parents or yeah were very, they liked music. So at our house there was always music playing um, and, and very different kinds of music, not just one, it was like old kinds of music. So that's, that was something where I always listened to music and then growing older, um, so somehow I, I went from old school music, I, li I listened to like Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly, uh, Beatles, Rolling Stones, like really old music. That means? Like, yeah, not too much, no, no. not too much. But um, and then over the time, when you go to house parties, you know, you start to get cool. Then obviously, that music won't really, you know, happen. <laughs> you can't impress any chicks with that old stuff. You have to listen to the new stuff. And then uh, I watched a lot of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, Will Smith was just my man, you know. And he then, still. Uh, yeah, he's still. Yeah, he still. He still. He's Will Smith is currently. Booming on YouTube, he's yep. got his own YouTube channel and he, that man, he, he started vlogging, no deduction, he has over a million subscribers, yeah. I started yeah. vlogging. Yeah, yeah, I started vlogging 15 years.